We pass the entrance. We are going into the forest. I like walking on the ground. I can feel the big rocks and small rocks. Look at all those different kinds of plants. I don't know every plant's name, but they look interesting. We see different kinds of trees. As we walk inside, the big, big trees are making a shade. So it feels cooler inside. Do you feel the breeze? And the breeze is making the leaves sound. The leaves on the tree are moving their bodies and making sounds together. We also hear a bird talking to the other bird. Chirp, 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 chirp. As we walk deeper into the forest, we see a bear. Do you see a bear? Still, we're gonna watch him from a distance, all right? Oh, look at that. The bear found a little rabbit. The little rabbit is hopping around. Is he looking for food? Is he digging the ground to find some food? Look, the bear is going close to the rabbit. When the rabbit realized that the bear was near him, he was shocked. Bear might eat the rabbit. He was so shocked and he stopped. He couldn't move. The bear looked at the rabbit. But this bear is filled with love and happiness. He looked at the rabbit and he thought, the way the bunny hops around is so cute. And the bear told the rabbit that, I like the way you hop around. That must make you move really fast. That's nice. And then the bear gave the bunny hug. The rabbit was scared, but it was really nice hug. And then the bear kept walking. Now the bear found the moose. Do you see a moose? Moose is a big deer. Well, the bear is big too. So I don't think the bear is afraid, but moose is deer. So he can be eaten by the bear. When the moose realized that the bear was near him, he was scared. The bear walked close to the moose and said, Wow! I really like your antlers. You have really amazing antlers that look so cool. And then the bear gave the moose a hug. Wow, this bear is really filled with love. And then the bear kept walking. Now the bear heard some sound. The bird sound that we heard at the beginning of the forest. Chirp, 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 chirp. The bear found a little red bird sitting on a branch, and he got close to the bird. The bird was very, very small compared to the bear's size, but he stood beside the bird and heard the bird singing. Chirp, 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 chirp. And the bear told the bird, I really like your voice. You can sing a nice song. And then the bear gave a hug to the bird. And the bear kept walking. The bear found a human, a man with an axe. Hmm. The bear was thinking, what do I like about that man? Because this bear is filled with love and happiness. He got curious and he followed the man. The man stopped in front of a tree and he started to chop the tree. It's gonna hurt the tree. Are you trying to cut the tree? The bear was upset and it made him very angry. So he thought, I'm gonna bite him because that man made the bear angry, right? 
I'm gonna bite him. But at the moment, the bear thought, no, but if I bite him, he's gonna get hurt. And I'm not gonna be happy about that. So the bear thought, maybe I'm gonna do the thing that I can do the best. What is the thing that the bear can do the best? Loving, giving a hug. So bear decided to give a hug to the man. He got close to the man and gave a big bear hug. The man with the axe got scared and he ran away. Uh oh Well, the bear didn't mean to hurt him, but the man got scared because the bear is a scary thing. I told you at the beginning, right? The man got scared of the bear and he, he ran away. So now the tree is safe, right? Yay, the bear could save the tree. The bear felt happy. Wow, it was nice bear story. Now we're gonna go back to our house. It's time to go home. Let's turn around and get out of the forest. Look at the trees, feel the leaves, feel the wind, hear the bird sound again. That was really nice bear story, right? What can we learn from the bear story? Well, it was amazing that this bear could eat all the animals, right? Bear is strong, so he could just eat them all. But the bear was smart. Just eating them all, maybe that will make his tummy full. But that will also make him feel sad. Because the animals are living things as well, just like bear.